Hey there guys, Cubby here with Ed Brisson and Johnny Christmas of Images Sheltered, a brand new book that just came out very recently. And if you watch our comic reviews, you know Bobby gave it a pretty good score. So guys, how are you enjoying Comic-Con 2013? It's lively. Yeah, good so far. You know, yeah. really good signing just now and uh, just walking around, checking it out. It's been real fun. Yeah, it's been pretty crazy. Like the crowds this year are a little, a little nuts. But uh, tell us a little bit about your book, Sheltered. What, what's it about? What's the premise? What, what do you want people to get excited about this one? Uh, it's about a group of uh, people who kind of uh, think the world's going to end, so the preppers, you know, which exist all across America, I guess, and uh, they think the world's going to end, so they kind of move off the grid and decide to become self-sufficient, build bunkers, all that sort of stuff, so that if any sort of uh, end of the world scenario or societal breakdown uh, does occur, they're, uh, they're prepped, ready to survive, and, uh, you know, as these things go, not everything goes according to plan, and um, things go sideways for them. That's that's actually a really awesome concept. Uh, what brought that about? What did what did you what what influenced that idea? Uh, Johnny and I have been wanting to do something together for about four years, and uh, we met one day and we just were, were pitching around ideas. Uh, uh, leading up to that, I had actually wanted to do a post-apocalyptic story, and sort of uh, started researching preppers because I thought, well, like how how would these people who are preparing for the end survive once the end comes? Uh, and then I just kind of got really wrapped up in that society and thought, well, you know, there's a really good story in here, so let's do before the apocalypse, like before, before it comes and when these people are waiting and what that's like and uh, what it's like, especially for the kids sort of raised in this environment where you're uh, having emergency drills for nuclear bombs, you know, once a week uh, and you're raised in that sort of society knowing that the world will probably end in your lifetime. It's like growing up in Fallout, but without the actual Fallout. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. That, that's that's really. So, what influenced you guys to actually get into the industry that you're in now, comics? And you guys said you've been working for a while already. Like, what what really drove you to get to that point, to here? Well, uh, love comics. Uh, I think I could speak for Ed on this score as well. Like, uh, just both really love the medium and uh, the possibilities and storytelling, and it's just a wonderful medium. What's your guys' favorite book? From Hell, nice. Alan Moore. Uh, I think my favorite single issue is a book called uh, They Found the Car, which is by a European artist called GP. So it's just a 30 some odd page crime story. It's just it's amazing. It's amazing. It came out about six years ago. I always like it when people tell me a really random book I've never heard of because now I want to go track yeah, it down. Yeah, track it down. That's awesome. That's, that's awesome. Uh, what, what other mediums, like entertainment wise, or even just anything in general, what influences you in your books? I know you said you, you saw all these preppers, kind of you wanted to get behind that, but what else came into Sheltered beyond that? Uh, I don't know. I just say, uh, I like the just. Um yeah, I, I'm growing up. I watched a ton of post-apocalyptic movies. I love that sort of stuff. It's one of my favorite. I, want, I don't even want to say guilty pleasure because it's a straight-up pleasure uh, sort of genre of stuff like '80s Italian post-apocalyptic films, all that sort of stuff. So you know that was sort of playing a, a role earlier on. But uh, for this, it's just uh, it's just I like I really I really uh, sort of get off of writing, doing a lot of like character work, and this is giving me a chance to sort of write a lot of, I think, really good characters going forward and really getting into their, trying to get into their psyche and, and, and how these things play out, so. Do you, would you say you normally, in your guys' personal reading, go for something a little more heady, a little more I have to think about it, or do you like the big, big boobs, big action, like what kind of books do you usually go for? Character driven, mostly. Yeah. Uh, stuff with good characters that are fleshed out in uh, scenarios that play out in a way that you don't expect. Are kind of things that uh, that I go for generally. Oh. Readings all over the place, man. <laughs> I readings all over the place. I like I read like a lot of old pulp novels uh, and and more like you know. DC books. Yeah, yeah, and, and then a lot of heady stuff as well, I guess. <laughs> That's awesome. What's your guys' uh, favorite video game? Mario Kart, maybe. I don't play a lot of video games, uh, but I got a seven-year-old kid. I play Mario Kart with her. A Fat Princess, actually, we've been playing Fat Princess, which I guess probably came out a while ago. But uh, it's a fun game to play with your kid, man. I have one of those weird motion things where I can't play video games. Uh, the room starts spinning, but I would keep playing as a kid. I'd be laying on my side, and everyone's like, "Stop playing!" But I wouldn't stop playing. I so finally, I, I yeah, I just gave it up. I had, yeah, I got the shakes. And so, what would you say is your guys' favorite movie? Oh, I have to think about that. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's a tie. I, I really like Time Bandits. It's a great film. Yes. And uh, Catch-22 is, uh, is also a film I, I love a lot. Uh, I would have to say maybe um, Arizona Dream, uh, Johnny Depp, uh, Vincent Gallo, or uh, Brokeback Mountain, maybe. 
love that movie. Brokeback's great a great character. movie. Yeah. It's a good character movie. I've never seen it. I've still never really? seen it. It's good. Great stuff. It's good. Check it out. Netflix it or Redbox it or whatever. All right, guys. So this was Ed Brisson, Johnny Christmas. The book is Sheltered. Pick it up. Check it out. It sounds amazing. I can't wait to see it. I hope you guys have a great con, and I hope to see you again next year. Great. Thanks. Cool. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. I'm Johnny Christmas. Uh, I'm Ed Brisson, and you're watching Nerd Locker, a place for your inner nerd.